up YouTube, your boy the flying spelling here. I had a really big mind block. So at the same time recording this video, I'm trying out a live stream on Twitch, which is the flying spanner, uh, and haven't done that for a while. And uh, yeah, it's a bit weird at the moment. Come to live streaming and doing a NG releases, so kind of all new things. So we're here on the NG Models Instagram page and. Just announced probably what an hour ago, if that. Yeah, they've just done all of their one to four hundred releases for August. And while I was on the stream, I thought, oh, do you know what? I can do a releases video. So they gave us all of these hints earlier. Well, not earlier, yesterday I think it was. Um, and of course, people have been guessing. And there is a massive list here of a massive list of releases. So let's go through them. So what I think is cool, what they've done is with the little points cards what you get um they're now doing a do you know what i guarantee that's not in the frame is it oh no it kind of is over there because i've had to crop the screen a little bit to make it through so let me close that again for some reason that opened um so what ng have been doing with the little points cards that you've been getting with your models is you can redeem them for, I said points, how many times have I had to say that in the past minute? So with those points, you can redeem them. And when was it? Early in the year, they opened up the exchange hall for the first time. It's something they've been working on for a couple of years now. Um, you, They opened up the exchange hall. I got a Hackpack Lloyd uh, 737 800, which I've got a custom into the 2E um, 737, uh, which is in that kind of hybrid livery. And I got that completely for free. Um, the only thing you have to pay for is the shipping between yourself and the, re the retailer and yourself. Um, which, if you have orders with that retailer, you can just add it uh, and ask them to save it and ship it with your order, which then combines the postage. So, ideal. Um, and they're doing it this time. So, exclusive releases. So, when uh, the products come out in the the store and the ng exchange hall uh, for a point you'll be able to what they're saying is a purchase opportunity with a point um before placing order with retailers so i think what they're doing is because they think these are going to be fairly popular models i think that one probably will be the alaska uh 737 900 uh, in the more to love livery um they'll you redeem this with a point and then you'll have the chance to send that to the retailer and also it probably makes the re the ng and the retailers a bit better because you know you're getting money from somewhere and also you're not going to have loads of models that you're not going to be able to sell or you potentially won't sell um so it's quite a good idea so in this set of releases for them we have the alaska as I just said the alaska 737900 uh, more to love livery we have a Corsair 747SP, a Garuda Indonesia A330-300 um, with, I don't know, oh, so, oh yeah, these are exclusives, I think, oh, I think all of these with exclusive is exclusive, so that one's uh, another Garuda with a mask on. Then we have a 2U145 from Shishun Air. Probably definitely said that wrong. And then a China Eastern 737-800. Um, it says orange, orange exclusive for NG members. So I don't know what the orange colour scheme is. I can only imagine um, that's a special China Eastern scheme, which they have loads of them. So um, probably nothing something special but still so into this bulk of releases we have some lovely models in these in these releases i've say i've already looked through them for a little bit and uh yeah some very nice ones so we have a southwest 737 max in the can not the canyon blue in the heart blue what's it called i don't know if you tell what it's called heart livery 
Um, I personally won't be getting this because I've already got a Gemini 737 Max and I don't need any more Southwest really. This one I thought was really cool. It really threw me off when I first saw it. I was like, that's a really cool, nice livery with a pink uh, pink Southwest. And you can imagine Southwest would kind of do something like this for um, like a breast cancer release um, month or um, something along those lines. They'll have a special livery um, to kind of raise awareness for that. Uh, but they are saying this is a fantasy livery. I thought it looked kind of cool. I'm personally not going to get it purely on the basis of it's a fantasy model. I don't really want fantasy models in my collection. Um, as cool as it would be to have a whole pink southwest. Then we have a couple Austrians. We have a, So we have some 737-600s. I think there's two Austrians here. Um, I think all that's different is the Regis. Yeah, probably the regs and name. So if you collect Austrian, uh, I don't think they have these in their fleet anymore. So personally, you won't be getting them. Um, and then there's Flair, which actually Flair I might get. Um, they've released two of these, 737 800. Um, and once again, like the Austrians, the same livery, just different registration and then therefore different names. So I think one's called Bill, one one's called Jim. Then we have some nice A320s, A320 Neos from Lufthansa. We have the special Love Hansa uh, livery and then the normal Luf Lufthansa new scheme. So once again, I've already got the Gemini versions of the new colour Lufthansa. Um, I probably would have got an old livery Lufthansa Neo, um, but I really want a Scandinavian uh, another Scandinavian new livery Neo, because I'm pretty sure I have sold mine. Uh, I don't remember doing it. I did have two, but now I'm down to, I think, one or maybe none. So I could do with another one. Um, further on, we then have a Airbus house livery. I think that's what they call them. Um, so if I scroll down here, they kind of tell you what it is. I didn't realise Airbus had a livery like this. It's very plain, very simple. So... I think if I get any ideas for any more customs, then I'll definitely have to pick up this one because, uh, from a custom perspective, this is awesome because it's a little bit of thing on the chocolates. Uh, you'd have to get rid of that rear door, but that'll probably be it. Um, and there's a little bit of tire tillage underneath the windows, but apart from that, it's a white model. It's basically a blank model, so ideal for customs. Then. We have a couple JetBlue 321s, uh, not Neos. These are COs. So we have the Prism tail, uh, and it has the, it's their 200th aircraft, which is the little sticker behind the back windows. Um, once again, probably not going to get that, because if you got every model that kind of had a special sticker on it, then you'd be even more out of money compared to normal. Um, so we have that one. Oh, I've gone onto the wrong post. Let's uh, scoot back. So we have that one. And that's the end of that one. Right, on to the next lot. This one is definitely one for me. So JetBlue 321 CO um, Aviation Retail had posted a picture of the Aero Classics version. I was like, mm, I am quite tempted. But I was like, mm, I'm going to wait for the NG version. And thank God NG models have released it straight afterwards so uh yeah definitely like this one it's a really cool livery and i'm a big fan of the blue livery um so yeah you'll be seeing this one in the caribbean airport update at some point then more models that are very tempting towards us the spirit a320 neo i think i don't think i've got a 320 neo i think i've just got a 321 co but that looks really nice and a spirit a320 uh co Another couple ones which are going to tempt a lot of people. So I made a custom of this model for the Manchester Airport Fair, uh, the Aegean A320CO. And I made it and I was like, I get this sometimes with my customs. I'm like, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I really liked the model. Uh, I nearly kept it and then NG have just released it. So I'm probably going to pick this one up. Uh, and I'm also very tempted to pick this one up because it's a... Uh, um, a 320 Neo which I have a, another custom of so um, I'm not too sure whether I'm going to be able to sell that custom now it's uh, 
now it's been released by NG. Uh, but I know Aegean, since they released their 321 Neo, um, people have been begging for a 320. So they've done fairly well here and should do very well with the sales from this one. Um, then we have an Iceland there. So they, I'm not too sure whether they released their, I think they released the Net Geo version of this. Um, which has now changed, it's now back to Iceland Air, so it's just got the Iceland Air uh, titles and tail. Then a nice funky one, we've got a Zip Air 787-8, I assume there must, yeah, that one's got a sticker, so um, there's the difference. Two models in one really from their point of view, because they can just make the base of one and then just slap something on it for something different. So, um, not going to get it just because it's, yeah, I can't really see it fitting into the airport anyway. And I've got the VIP bit, but it's kind of pointless for a, uh, a UK airport to have a Japanese private jet kind of operator. Then we have a Shushuan A330-300 converted freighter, I think it is. That looks like a cargo door on the front, so yeah, it just looks like a, um, a freighter. Then I believe it's a Comac 219 or from China Eastern. Uh, cool model to release, but of course not not in my uh, my area as such. Then something very cool. The ANA 787-9, I think it is, in the Pokemon livery. Do you know what? I'm really tempted to get that because it looks quite nice. But we'll see. Another one which I probably am going to get this one. A, because the livery is really cool, and also they're definitely, when they start operating, judging they do start operating, that is, um, they will definitely be uh, flying into the UK somewhere. Um, and it's such a cool-looking plane. Def really am going to get that one. Then some Lion Air 737 Maxes. Um, we've got one two line airs yeah Thai version of line air once again they've made the same model but just added something different to it um then some cool releases for the kind of nostalgic people around us uh the pan am tristar and i think they've got a couple of these yeah they've got a couple pan am tristars an a and a tristar then Ah, oh, is this Chinese government? Let me go back to the front page. It must be Chinese government. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, why can't they put stuff in order? No idea. I don't know what that one is. Oh, uh, PLA Air Force. Oh, Philippines Air Force, maybe? Yeah, once again, not really too interested. Oh, it'd be Chinese, surely. I don't know, some kind of air force. Um, I'm sure they'll get collectors over, over in the Far East somewhere for them, but yeah, not for me, personally. Then on to the final few photos, we have a Air China 747 SP, a Shanghai Airlines 737-800, a Hainan 737 with split scimitars. T-Way with some stickers on it, some free zone 800, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Not sure why they've done that one twice, but we'll see. Um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, there is a decent variety, I'd say, there with, of course, the Jet Blues, the Southwest for the American collectors. You have the Aegeans and Lufthansa's for the European side, and of course, um, a, a good good selection of uh, Far East kind of Asia models so yeah NG done a pretty good job there I'd say purely because it's um it's very varied it's what you don't get with some some manufacturers um it's nice and varied it's a little bit for everyone there so good work NG on the August releases and uh fingers crossed everything comes out on time rather than having to keep waiting months and months and months so I'd rather that and get a good model which you always do but yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Adios and goodbye.